Hello everybody, it's Carl Moman, your God and Guy, and today I'm setting up for a blooming good time. <laughs> Come along and let me show you how we're gonna grow some foxgloves. There's a few rules you have to stick to when it comes to sowing seed, especially when you're doing flowering plants. Now, foxgloves are the most beautiful things. They grow these tall, long spikes of lovely tuberous flowers. You just can't walk past them without looking at them. They are so beautiful and I love using them because they're frost hardy little plants and you know what, they tolerate shade. They like woody sort of areas. So that space in the garden which the grass doesn't want to grow or the bed always looks like crap because there's a massive evergreen tree growing over it. That's the spot where you're going to stick these guys for some lovely color right through spring and summer. So let's get into it. I've got some lovely, lovely little foxglove seeds over here. And on this side, I've got a beautiful growing medium, the germination mix, ready-made seedling germination mix. The reason I like this one is have a look at that. Look how fine textured this is. Now you can make your own sort of seedling germination mixture using peat moss and vermiculite and some compost, but typically you're gonna struggle to get it to this sort of texture, to get it this fine. That's why I love using this pre-made one because especially when you're growing foxgloves, they have these really tiny, tiny, tiny little baby seeds. And when you're planting small little seeds like that, you need them to be on a smooth, nice, flat, little level growing bed. Otherwise, they're gonna be growing all wonky all over the place, okay? So you have to have a nice, similar textured medium to your seed. Okay, so I'm gonna level this out nicely. And then, let's give it a spit of water. Just quickly, splish, splash, splushy. Right, nice bit of water. So, there we go, level that out nicely. And here's my little secret weapon. Just get him nice and wet. Let's see. And come look here quickly. Come look at this. Look at that. Can you see there? This thing is level as an ironing board, let me tell you. That's what you're looking for when you're sowing these fine little seeds, okay? So, I'm just gonna squeeze him in absolutely square level like that. And now, hey, now, it's time for our little baby seeds. So, we said we we're gonna be doing some fox clubs here. Let me get them over. And I mean, come, come look here quickly. So, I just wanna show you how fine these little guys really actually are. If I can get the bloody thing open. Right, now you gotta be really careful. You don't want any water sort of slipping in here because once the seed is wet, it's gonna germinate, my man, and then you gotta plant it. You can't leave him in the packet. <laughs> so, be really careful not to get water inside, eh? Now, just to quickly show you a little bit, if I can get my hand dry enough. Look at this. Can you even see that? So, it makes it really difficult to plant them evenly, so every guy gets the best shot at life. So, here's the little secret, or one of them, and I've shared it before, is our little seed shaker, as I like to call it, hey? <laughs> well, the friendly sponsored by Robison's. Not really. <laughs> okay, so, I didn't do that. So, let me just get these dudes out the way. So, in one of my other videos, I did how to use eggshells in the garden. So, this is just crushed eggshells, spent eggshells that you've baked in the oven and crushed, right? I'm adding some of them into my little seed shaker over here. So it's like an eggshell powder, if you like, okay? And I'm going to fill him up with quite a bit of it, Hey, okay, There we go. Right. Now the stuff is sterile and does everything you want it to, okay? Then, then, I'm going to grab my little fox gloves over here. And I'm only half of the packet because, I mean, there's so many of them in here. You'll, you'll never harvest every little plant if you had to sow all of them in one pot here, in one seedling tray here, okay? Put me right into our little herb shaker. Okay, that's it, that's it. Still got plenty more than enough here to sow a second bunch a few weeks from now. Let's put these guys aside. Now, we're going to close him up. And give him a very good shake because we want to mix all those seeds nice and evenly with our eggshells. Okay? Okay. 
Uh, I think that ought to do it, just about. Here we go, now, come have a look here. That's it. And then, all I'm gonna do is sort of tap him, and look at that. And what we wanna do is come close as you can. So you wanna try and be quite close to the soil surface when you're sowing these guys. And reason being, if the wind gets half a woof of this stuff, those seeds will be all over the place, I promise you. So you want to sow them nice and evenly. Right, now, you don't want to sow these guys deep at all. Because foxgloves need light to germinate. The seeds need to see light before they can germinate and grow into a little plant. So, that's also the reason we don't cover this guy at all with any vermiculite or soil or nothing. We can leave them right on top of the soil surface like that, eh? just between our eggshells and then water them very, very carefully. This is the second secret weapon, especially when you're sowing fine little seeds like foxgloves, is a little spray bottle. Now I've just got a normal spray cap from the plastic store and I've popped him on a two liter bottle here. And what you can even do is add some fungicide in here if you like. Okay, now I'm just gonna, from a distance, start slowly wetting these guys because what happens is many times people do everything, they do all the trouble of buying everything and planting the seeds nice and evenly and doing everything right. And then when they come with the water, with a watering can, they rinse all those little seeds like a little tsunami right up into the corner of the tray. And all of them end up germinating right on top of each other and you get a few plants compared to what you could have had. So, good tip, use a spray bottle when watering your finer seeds, okay? Now you want to water these guys nice and wet so they can germinate well. Here we go. And keep this guy close by because I mean, you got to water them regularly, okay? Make sure they stay nice and moist. Now, here's a last little pro tip for your smaller seeds. Good old glad wrap over here, eh? Man's best friend in the kitchen at least, eh? Okay, so I'm gonna grab just some sort of a face cloth and I'm gonna dry the outside of our little tray. The idea is to get the sides of the bowl or the sides of your seedling tray nice and dry so our cling wrap is gonna cling to our little tray. Okay, so our next little step, quickly, very, very carefully, we're gonna wrap this guy right up, look at that, all the way around in some cling foam. This is like a little miniature greenhouse for this dude. That's it. Oh, beautiful. And we're just gonna fold the edges right around and keep him in nicely. There we go. Now, this is gonna go straight on the windowsill. You're gonna check it every now and then. These seeds will come up really quickly. And then you've gotta leave them in here until they're manageable of size. Because these guys grow baby little plants. So you've gotta leave them in here for quite some time until they're big enough to transplant them into larger little seedling trays. Okay, here we go. So for now, we're gonna label this, we're gonna put it away, and we're gonna water it. Now, quite clearly, you'd have to remove the Glad Wrap, water him, and wrap him back up. And in no time, he's gonna be paying you back for stunning little plants. And you know what? They make stunning cut flowers, so if you want to spoil the wife, do yourself a favor and get some of these in the beds. <laughs> Thank you for joining me here today. It's been lovely having you. I've had a blast of a time. If you've enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe. I've been Carl Mom, your garden guy. Until next time, happy gardening and happy seed growing. Okay, now, next step. Uh.